The production meeting was very exciting. Spencer took over, just like the old days, coming prepared with a thorough agenda. He brought an assistant named Alex who seemed very capable. We were all very impressed with her. It was all business at first. Spence presented a to-do list, broke down the roles needing to be cast, and explained his budget breakdown based on the money my father gave us. Then we read the play aloud. We all agreed it needed work, but it would hardly have taken a masterpiece to make the sound of these voices beautiful to me. I couldn't believe it. Here we were, the old company, together again like we hadn't missed a beat, let alone years. So that was fun. Interesting play. Never knew you were into the Christian fantasy genre. Yeah, it's interesting. Some compelling characters. Famous characters, anyway. Mm, baby, it doesn't matter to me. The important thing is we're doing it. Today this, tomorrow one of your beautiful plays, which I love and miss. You ever come out here much? Wherever we are? Huh? No. I've never been to Queens before. I did spend a semester in Moscow, though. You know, I saw like 10 karaoke places on the way here from the subway. Me too. You up for that? Little karaoke when we're out here in the middle of nowhere, far from our homes and regular lives? Right now? Why not? Thanks for coming all the way out here. From now on, we'll meet in town, and, and we can use the office at night for rehearsals. Good. Uh, no, I was glad I saw where you live, where you had to flee when you and, uh, what's her name, and dare I say it? Lydia! Ah. Uh, where you and Lydia broke up. Well... Uh, George, where do you live? You still uptown in that amazing, spacious, rent-controlled pad? George lives here now. What other choice was there? I asked landlord Ronnie and he approved it, provided we pay a rent increase of 100%. Frankly, I was surprised it wasn't more. I felt good about it. Sure, it'd be tight, but I'd lived alone for so long. No, I left my cell phone there on purpose so I could call you. I'm glad you finally answered. You were really out this morning. Why are you whispering? People are here from the home office. One of them's the regional manager. They're in with my dad. Everything's fine. I had dreams. Speaking of dreams, listen to this. I just got off the phone with Spencer, who thinks he can get us the Kowalski Theater on 45th Street. He wants us to meet him there Friday. It was a final dress rehearsal. We were all lined up for a cast photo and all seemed right with the world when suddenly... What? A question for you, Mark. As you're well aware, I'm sure, there's a rather juicy role in the context of this particular piece of writing in the character of Mary Magdalene. Yeah, well, I'd say all the roles are juicy, but yes, Magdalene has the most stage time. Uh, she's the lead, I guess. Promise me. Swear an oath. Swear. To do what? Swear. Any actress but her. Oh, Lydia? Ah, George, George, that, that's, that's funny, George. George, George, George. Listen to me. That, that's funny, actually. I had, I had not thought about, about her for this. I, I don't even know where she lives. L.A. somewhere, right? Ah, uh, Google Earth. There you are. Los Feliz, L.A. I never think about her anymore. I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry, too. And even if I did know how to contact her, you think I'd be crazy enough to involve her in this project? Much less as the lead? Hey, long time. Yeah, long time. 
So, I'm directing a play, and I'd like to talk to you about the role of Mary Magdalene. Can I send you a script? Sure. I apologize. It was the baseless fabric of a dream. I guess I'm just... trying to believe this is really happening. Look, have a good day at work, and I'll see you when you get home. It's getting rough in there. You expect me to believe that kind of bullshit? You expect me to go back to report that you, one of our biggest losers, who I came here all the way from the home office in Rochester to tell that he is inches from the shit can, are currently in late stage negotiations with B.D. Riley, one of the biggest, most legendary salesmen in our industry, B.D. Riley? Do I look stupid, old man? How are you going to convince B.D. Riley to come work at this dump? I mean, B.D. Riley wouldn't come here to shit on your desk. But he was here, sitting right there. How do you propose to recruit that man? You're a washed up old fool who we're going to fire the minute legal figures out how to avert an ageism suit. How are you going to convince a stud like Riley to come work here? Well, we're putting on a real show for him. Oh, you better put on a show. Because if you're shitting me, you're gone by spring.